Hello everybody and welcome back to Getting Wrecked and Transport Fever. So I have been playing forward here a couple of years and I'm still not sure why we haven't got the achievement yet. We have production in all factories. Now even if they have production some of them have line usage equal no. If we check from this side so we can actually get all these windows opening at kind of the same place. Some of these guys do have line usage no here. And I'm guessing that's why it's not triggering because they've got this coal mine has uh, line usage usage no now even if it's producing. So I'm guessing that's why the achievement is not triggering because I'm guessing this is the flag for when well, everyone has line usage. Yes, we will trigger the achievement. But with all these factories, I think it's kind of impossible to make that happen on this large map. So if I want to get the achievement, I should just start a smaller map and uh, finish it that way. So I will consider this playthrough complete and. Uh, I got a train here that I'm going to join while he's driving all over the place. So I'll be the TDV. We should get him some fancy color. Red. Black. White. This guy kind of, kind of cool because it's black and white. Yellow? Nope, not that yellow at least. Blue is okay. Dark red maybe? Okay, let's have it dark red. Hopefully this guy will be able to uh, ride this line 7. So I just put down some stations all over uh, the map. So hopefully it can, uh, we can see how the lines are working. I think there will be a lot of stops for this guy, but hey. End the game, end of the game. Anyways, so let's discuss a couple of things uh, from this playthrough. So one of the, let's play it a bit faster because otherwise we will never get to the end of this. Uh, so, one of my missions, or like house rules, or however you want to call it, was that I should never use trucks uh, other than for distributing to cities and inside cities and stuff like that. But that made it kind of hard to do this achievement, since I have train tracks all over the place. So that's a bit of a an issue. Since what is this? this? Shard. Slow as trains. Anyways, uh, so that was one uh, thing that made it a little bit harder. And then we also had the fact that I was hoping to use one city as a hub and transport all the goods there and then distribute it from that city to the next city and the next city and the next city and I think that setup is alright it's mostly a problem with the fact that since I'm going to industrialist achievement as well it's a bit easy that we get overcrowded with uh, train tracks like this for example I have train tracks going in every single direction and also I have queues building up uh, like crazy most likely I could do something different with uh, that station for example but I don't think it's a valid uh, game plan to have one single hub having multiple hubs is fine like 
having a leatherhead as one hub and then having another hub further down the line so they could transport you could have leatherhead connected to all the cities nearby and then you could have maybe two or three other hubs like that I think that could be pretty fancy but yeah It does get a little bit too clouded here. Since there are so many factories that will be delivering stuff over here. And also, I mean, I could most likely do some changes to the line setup. So people are not using the same platform at the same extent. And also one thing I kind of messed up and that I think I will try to do better in the next playthrough is the fact that I... Uh, oh, this guy is kind of stuck. Uh, one of the problems I realized here is that I didn't really make a whole lot of passenger services for the cities so when you get later in the game the capacity for your trains are so much higher that it will be hard to make it like one train will fully saturate one city if you haven't made that city grow before And also many of these holdups are because of the fact that I'm connected with trains to every single factory. So there are junctions all over the place. So this was my first uh, train track I built. In order to get oil from St. Helen far back there. And then have it go close to the river where the area was pretty flat and then drive all the way down to this refinery down here turn it into fuel I think it would be kind of funny to see or funny it would be interesting to see uh, your different lines uh, like how much money did they make in uh, in the game in the full game I'm guessing this one would be one of the most efficient ones. One of my less efficient ones is this one I made with the boats here when I delivered coal. No, I delivered iron ore down here to produce steel on the other side and I have boats going back and forth. I kind of like that idea but uh, I, it's not one idea you will make a lot of money from. These boats did make money at some times but it was just too, should we say, unreliable, like plenty of times where production had to stop before, because of the boats being too slow, or you had too many boats and too little uh, capacity on the trains. And also the fact that I was making uh, slag out there. But Patchway hasn't grown a lot, and I added that to passenger stations quite early, I think. It's growing really, really slow. Maybe they grow faster if you connect them with cities close to them, like Burton upon Trent. If I connected these two, maybe they would grow faster. I'm not quite sure. I haven't seen how fast this guy has been going, but uh, it's usually <laughs> just breaking, standing in queue. Uh, also, I also don't understand, when I connected passenger trains between Havant and um, Goldstone, Goldstone was kind of my first hub in this playthrough. 
But no one really wanted to travel between Havant and Golston, and I don't think they want to do it e even now. And I still don't know why that's the case. But one reason why I'm not making money is because of this. I always had to slow down with the trains. I think that was because of the, the turn actually, but there are always queues. And this guy made me a lot of money in the beginning when I made planks here. But then when I added more uh, forest to that, I started to lose money instead. So that was also an issue. Here's my second line, uh, the farm. I connected the farm down to the food processing plant there with the same train track as the fuel. And these point to points back and forth, they are so effective. If you play on hard, you kind of need to do those in order to make money. It kind of, it's a break point somewhere when you get trains that can make 120 km an hour maybe. At that break point you can use one way trains and get income on hard. But before that it's kind of difficult to make profits without uh, having uh, the trains bringing stuff both ways. This is Saint Helen. This is where we started with our... Come on game. That's the oil well where it all, all began. So, in the next playthrough I will try to do... Interesting. Where are you going? Hmm. Well, uh, I guess that's fine. Anyways, in the next playthrough, I think I will try some mods. And the one mod I really look forward to is to find a mod for more industry chains. Because I'm getting so tired of always doing the same uh, chain. You have the food. And you have uh, oil, or well, fuel. Food and fuel is the way to make money. And also tools by producing planks. And that's are the three, three ways of making money in one playing hard. Uh, and then of course you can also do... This would be really interesting where, where I'm actually going to end up. I have no idea. Interesting. But anyways, yeah, well, let's well sort things out. But uh, yeah, I want to have more either longer chains or better chains for industries. Like, plastics is never worth it to make, more or less. Since most of the times you can use plastics, you can also use steel. And steel are more, what should I say, uh, versatile, used for more stuff. So I think they should really add some more uh, usability for plastics. Or less usability for planks, because planks are used for everything. Which is fine, but it makes all the other industries kind of worthless, in my opinion. And also, I wouldn't mind to have a longer chain. But of course, if it's a longer chain, you should kind of get more money from it. And that's hard to do. Since everything in this game pays the same. Which I think is a bit sad. I would really like it if they made it so... Uh, passengers paid you more for fast travel. Oil paid you maybe less. For speed, but maybe paid you more for distance or something. Things like that would be really interesting. Well, anyways, and in, in the next playthrough, I will try to do some uh, uh, mods. I will also try to focus on passenger services. 
because I haven't done a lot of passenger services in this uh, playthrough. All my passenger services, services has been shuttles back and forth between two cities. And I prefer to have like in my earlier playthrough where I had like an express line going between uh, cities and then I had spoiler trains distributing to cities close by. Huntington has really grown though. Boom! That's quite the growth. Kind of makes sense as well. I wonder if we will ever move out of here though. We'll have to wait and see. And they are still building stuff here. So many trains, so much stuff waiting here as well. Come on guys. The train waits for no one. Well, it kind of does. But yeah, things like that, that's just, you can almost see the money ticking down. The way we're going now. I just added some stations and I looked at the... Um, really? Do you have one signal on this freaking uh, line? at all. Anyways, uh, I was just adding some stations, trying to make this guy go all over the place. So here we can see some of the things I maybe have learned. I don't know if it's really that good though, but the fact that I realized that in order to make this happen I would have to put down passenger stations and freight stations quite early in each city before they started to grow. Even if I had to use uh, buses and trucks because I couldn't place... Um okay, we're going back the same way. Because I couldn't uh, place... stations inside the city if I wanted to connect them on both sides. I don't really like the pocket station approach. Uh, this this line has really um, clogged up. That's also a thing um, I realized that since I play this playthrough trying to always have uh, always build one thing each episode. I rarely expanded on my old setups where I could have uh, made something for better capacity or uh, less queuing or something. Like I could spend uh, maybe two hours just expanding on this section right now, but that's not going to happen. Tine mouth. I think tine mouth actually grew quite a lot as well. I only used tine mouth for uh, the factory hub, and I liked that idea, but it didn't really make me any money. The fact that I made this. Um, station here with that factory and connected it with all the factories down in this valley as well. Just because of the industrialist achievement I was trying to connect all the factories with the same type so it would be easier to activate them all at the same time. Instead of having uh, one forest to one sawmill, to one factory. Now, thinking back to it, maybe that was the wrong decision. Maybe I should have connected them one to one, since the industries are 
There are usually like seven of each on if you play on the large map. It's like seven of each of these bad boys. So it would kind of make sense. I guess to have one one to one connections and it makes it much easier to decide if you need to add more uh, trains to a line or not if you only have one to one one to one connections anyways I want to in the next playthrough I will try to uh, focus on passenger services I will try to uh, use mods for more industries maybe I, I don't really want to add more trains though since I don't know if the modded trains are balanced usually when you see mods they are a bit imbalanced that they might cost less or be a little bit faster or stronger than other trains so I'm not so sure about that Here we go, Leatherhead again. It's starting to grow, but it's really not picking up on the other side of the station. Looks like the center is over here. Let's see if we can get more flow here, or if it will be just as slow as last time. We are getting stuck behind the freight train though. This is like uh, riding the subway, where you have to stop every two minutes. And we stop again. And then we go. And then we stop. And then we go. And I think this is one of my weakest spot is Buckingham. This pocket station has made me so much trouble because of... Look at how... Most of this, if I just had a station that went in line with this train track and the passenger as well, passenger station as well, if those just went in line with these, half of this rubbish would be unnecessary. So I think that's one of my weakest spots and I actually remade this uh, in this playthrough, I tried to Make it a little bit better. I don't think I really succeeded though. And that's also something to learn I guess, is to try to have more of a buffer when it comes to money. So I could remove this line. It, it made me much money. So, But just being able to demolish that line completely and build everything anew could have been really, really useful. I like these setups where I have, oops, where I have a passenger station and I have a freight station. And I kind of like the idea of having uh, uh, freight trains going back and forth between two cities, like uh, over here, bringing plastics to Buckingham and bringing food back here. That's... I kind of like that idea. Having each city more or less trading goods with each other. But it's not very effective. It's just... Interesting. And... The problem is that, sure, doing that for... Um, uh, machines, food, tools... That's fine and good, because they all use the same uh, train carriage, train car. But if you want to use it for bricks and uh, fuel as well, then you have to use different train cars. I think that's a bit of an issue. And that's also something I hope might change if I try some other industries, maybe. Maybe you can find uh, more usage of the, of the flatbeds and the 
for the stay cars and the oil uh, cars or tank wagons I guess if you have like I don't know milk or ale or something like that that could be uh, transported in uh, in tank cars now I guess uh, milk is kind of included in the goods category or food category and is being transported in box cars still anyways uh, yeah it's too bad uh, that uh, this didn't really work I didn't get the achievement but I'm thinking uh, this is fine I've connected every single industry where does anywhere this guy didn't really go I think he went all over the place more or less yeah he was even up here but yeah things like uh, the grain is not that useful in this game stone well stone is fine I guess but yeah I don't know I really hope there are some mods that can change the balance anyways thank you guys for watching and hopefully I see you in the next series thank you and goodbye